said that I said you don't bring sand to the beach. Now, first of all, uh, I, in a manner of speaking, yes, I said that. <laughs> but I didn't say that phrase. This is what I mean, because he, he said that he was going to bring his, his girl to Vegas, and, uh, and I said, uh, from my own experience, Couples Vegas is fucking hell. Um, don't go on Couples Vegas. And he, I don't know, why, why'd you get sand to the bit? I, don't, I wouldn't. You're out a bit, man. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. I feel like you don't, you don't understand the lesson I was trying to teach you. <laughs> you made it into some type of joke, and I'm like, asshole, I'm trying to help you out, motherfucker. Chip was like, don't see him saying to the beach. No, I was trying to fucking help you and not. We already went, and it was great. Was it? Yeah, was it, was it great? This is my life here. Got, uh, random women just come in and then just give me compliments. <laughs> Welcome to Chip's life. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. I, I was I was outside when she said that. She was just like, I was like she walked past me. She walked she walked past me, and then she stopped and then came back and was like, uh, I know you were just like thinking out loud, but uh, your voice belongs on like a sex radio, and then just walked away. And I was like, uh, thank you. That's nice. Says that. Okay, I want to talk about the jokes now. Let's get to the jokes. So I had some jokes I wanted to work on. Okay, so I feel like sex um, is uh, uh, like it's it's there's certain etiquettes. It has weird etiquettes. Just it, it has, there's there's weird things you do during sex. Like I don't I don't like it when a girl uh, like when you're about to get into it and like you're you're like right there. And then, uh, and like you're, you're like making out and everything, and then the girl pulls away and gives you a list of maybe might happen or won't happen on like your stay, as if she's some type of travel agent or some shit. And she's like, upon your stay in Vaginaville, you can visit three sport places, you know? Like she, like her body's like the like the Sahara Desert. She turns into Mufasa, just all the light touches will one day be yours. <laughs> What about that dark place around back? You must never go near the elephant graveyard. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Right? <laughs> like we don't, we don't need all that briefing. It's okay, girls. We just, just, just go, just go with it. Unless, unless the next thing out of your mouth is "I am" or "used to be a man," we don't care. We don't, we don't give a shit. Unless you have some type of disease. Uh, by the way, my pussy's poisoned. Then yes, yeah, say something. Please speak up. Hmm. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, you're my first black guy. Say that one. You guys can. Yeah, you can say that one. That one. <laughs> that one you can't say. That one I get excited for. Please, actually. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like I'm my first, you're my first black guy. I feel like I got nominated for an award when I hear that. Like, <laughs> I feel like my dick should give an acceptance speech. Like, upon, like on my behalf and shit, we accept this pussy on behalf of Chiff, oh, you know? <laughs> like, I feel like the Jackie Robinson of the pussy, you know? I'm just breaking through racial barriers, desegregating pussy across the land. <laughs> the integrator. That would be my, if my dick was a superhero, <laughs> it would be named the integrator. It'd have a little cape on it, <laughs> and it'd have an eye, it'd be lowercase, and the stem would be black, and the dot would be uh, white. It'd be It'd be a little on it. It'd be awesome. <laughs> the flip side of that, though, is that like that's a lot. Like you're my first black guy. That means that's, that means I am literally the representative of black dick. That's a lot of pressure. That's like 400 years of big dick pressure on my shoulders. Like I feel like I gotta fuck for my forefathers at that point. Like uh, this one's for Frederick Douglass, I guess. <laughs> George Washington Carver, thank you for the peanut butter. Uh, speaking of nut, pull out for the homies. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, guys, I'm sure you guys are thank you very much.